I'm speaking on behalf of the graduates. Please welcome Justin Kilama. Um, when I held the paper, the clapping stopped, but it's not uh, a molecular <laughs> exam, so continue clapping. Gallant ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to see all of you full of euphoria, vigor, valor, and great intelligence here. I would like to start by saying congratulations, my fellow classmates. My name is Justin Kilama. I come from Uganda and I'm a graduate of animal science from Hebrew University. I feel so incredibly honored to be here today and to talk on behalf of my class as a representative, and most importantly, to speak after great professors, including my mentor, Professor Samia. As a graduating student of animal science, I would like to borrow a story. If I'm to compare our graduation today to hatching out of baby chicks from the eggs, I will say Hebrew University is the best incubator in the world. I would like to say that you have planted seeds that will take roots and change the world forever. William Arthur once said that some men are broken by adversity, but some men use adversity to break records. Thank you, my classmates, for breaking records by graduating during hard times of Corona. After spending many hours sleeping behind cameras in Zoom, and also taking many sleepless nights to prepare for exams and meet deadlines, you have made it here today. Congratulations. Thanks for not giving up. On behalf of my class, I would like to thank everyone who makes Hebrew University a great institution. In Uganda, we say, Afoyo Matek. Todaraba. The master of the ceremony, the dean, the vice dean, the head of academic programs, animal and nutritional sciences. I would like to thank all of you for your wisdom and time that you've taken to bear visions that keep this institution running efficiently. And thank you for your tireless efforts to reading through our research papers and supervising us and to the coordinators who coordinated our lives, giving us a gate pass during Corona. I remember this building, it gives me a good memory because when we just learned in Israel, this is the place we met our friends, and this is the place we started learning the power of unity. We learned that we needed each other and we, had, we need to help each other in all ways, and this is the reason we have all made it here today. Today's graduation is a reflection of dream that was born back in 1918 when the founders of this institution decided to found an institution that will train millions of people from across the world. And this is the class that we have, students from all over the world, gaining knowledge and going back to make difference in the world. I would like to share with us two important things that I particularly learned during the year of my study. I learned that research requires patience and dedication, and that the most interesting discoveries in the world did not happen by chance. It happened after failing series of experiments and never giving up. It happened after setting series of hypotheses and asking questions that what if? How about we try this? And this is one of the lessons that I will take it home, that failure doesn't define us, but rather it teaches us that we need to learn more. But also that if we get good results, it doesn't mean we have mastered everything. It simply means we have much more to discover. The second thing that I have learned is that innovation is key to changing lives. Evolution says that life is a continuous work in progress and therefore we must adapt to change. And this change is coming in many ways. We have 
pandemic coming, immediately pandemic ended, there was war in Ukraine, and economic situation became harder. This tells us that nothing will get easy, it is us to get stronger. And lastly, to my fellow graduates, let us remember that the university and everyone have invested so much in us. And this investment came with call to responsibility to represent Hebrew University with the strong reputation that it has created over the years. So as we go, we are going to transform the world and we'll be the best ambassadors possible. I would like to implore all of us that as we go asking ourselves that what am I going to do with my paper, what change will I make? I pray that each of us will find a purpose in solving world problems ranging from climate change, future pandemics, food insecurity, poverty, human rights violation, and poor governance that is widespread across the world. I strongly believe in our abilities. If we made it today, we shall make it later. I would like to end by saying two words. Sky is just the beginning. And as soon, as long as we still breathe, let us keep climbing. The top of one mountain is the bottom of the next. Please keep climbing. Thank you very much.